So, where are we off to? We're in the Aswan area of southern Egypt. And we're heading to Elephantine Island, which is a mix mainly of dynastic works, but also there is some pre-dynastic work there as well. And that's typical of what we're going to be seeing on this tour of Egypt. In southern Egypt, it's mainly dynastic works, which we will show you in a whole series of videos. And then in the central part of Egypt, especially around Cairo, the Giza Plateau, etc., that's where we're going to be looking at some of the truly majestic pre-dynastic megalithic works. So, approaching the famous Nile River, one of the great rivers of the world, and the lifeblood of Egypt herself and neighboring countries. In the background, you're seeing what are called the Tombs of the Nobles. That was an inheritance to the dynastic people by the older megalithic people. There are hallways carved into the bedrock that go in several hundred feet. This is simply day one of a 13-day adventure here in 2020, in March, my eighth annual visit to Egypt. And as you stay tuned over the course of videos, you'll see all sorts of wonders, places we've been to before and some places we have never been to. Thanks. Okay, we're going up through the layers of history here at Elephantine Island. Obviously the lower part is the older, but now we're going to see the difference between the dynastic, which is here, and the later 
Greek and Roman, which is here, and the pre-dynastic. So this is what's left of the megalithic aspect of the site. This was once one giant block. And then you notice the cata catastrophic damage to it. This isn't simple vandalism. This was some kind of ancient earthquake that snapped it into many, many different pieces. And the remains of this gate. No mortar, no cement, no filler of any kind. These blocks still fit together with an astonishing level of precision. Where do you see the machining marks? See that half round there? Yeah. I think that there are corrugations across it, just in the shadow of the sun. I can't get close enough to see properly. Up where the sun's shining on it. Yeah, they're like... Yes, yes, that's right. Domed like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> so yeah, this giant block was never finished because if it was it would be perfectly glass-like. So again it was probably under construction in pre-dynastic times and the site was hit by a cataclysm and its mate is over here made of a darker grayish granite or cyanite and you can see probably during dynastic times or maybe even later Roman times it was broken up into pieces to be reused for other things. As far as I know, there are very few examples of something like this in, in Egypt. Okay, we're actually in the pit. We were given permission. So, with the sun going down, this is what this very large object looks like. Again, unfinished, so it doesn't have a polished surface. Pretty fair precision. Then, <coughs> let's have a look inside. There's one of the drill holes. Another one over here. It's mate piece of a darker <coughs> blackish granite is over here. Here's some pieces of it. This one was actually almost completely finished. You see the high polish. And there. And more bits of it. And here you can see where during Dynastic or Roman times, they were attempting to recycle parts of it.
and a slightly rounded, a slightly rounded uh, corner. But not perfect, but almost, almost completely finished. So I hope you enjoyed that.